Today we are grading every single championship away kit. You guys loved the home kit video. We hit 250 likes. Thank you very much for that. And now we're doing the away kits. There's a lot more on the line here. There are a lot more out there kind of kits. So hopefully, you know, we're going to have some stinkers and some good kits also. So all these clubs have come out with their brand new designs for the season, but they're not the only one. One Football have got a brand new design. They are the same amazing gap, but it just looks so much better. Go and check it out. The link is down in the description. They support this channel, so go and support them. It is the best football app out there. I use it all the time personally, and that's why I'm proud to have them as the channel sponsor. So go and check them out. Again, link down in the description. Thank you, One Football. If you want me to take a look at the third kits and grade them as well, let Let's try and hit 300 likes on this video. I know it's a big ask, but let's see if you can do it. Hit that subscribe button if you're new because we've got loads of football content coming out. Two or three videos a week and especially with the season kicking off, we're bringing back Fan Moan. It's going to be amazing. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So we're starting off with Bournemouth's kit here and instantly I really like it. I feel like this is some sort of old photo. It looks like a stand from maybe their stadium or something. Or maybe it's the background. Is it something to do with this bridge? I don't know. But anyway, I think the colour is beautiful. I've got to say, it is a lovely colour. Right, straight off the bat, I love this. I love this. I love how they've changed the badge to make it match the kit. The sponsor isn't too bad. It can do without the this one. You know what? This is getting an A from me. Straight off the bat. You know what? It's getting an A+. Plus. It's getting an A star. It's getting an A star, this kit. I love it. Right, it's only downhill from here then. <laughs> We've gone from such a vibrant kit to this. I don't even know what to say about it. It's very plain, dull, boring. <sighs> it looks smart enough, but I don't like it. You know, they've got this pattern, brilliant, but you know, I expect more from an away kit. It does look fairly smart. I'm going to give it a C. There's nothing special about it. We move. Next up, we've got Birmingham City's away kit, which was revealed today as I'm recording it on Thursday. I like it. I like it. It's very plain, very simple, but after that atrocity of a home kit, I'm quite happy with this. Like I say, it looks fairly smart. I've never been the biggest fan of red. I'm going to give it a C plus, maybe a B minus. I'm going to say C plus. If it was another team's kit, I would have probably given it a C plus, right? There's nothing special going on here. You know, the colour's pretty much non-existent. So it's a big change from the home kit, but I'm sort of glad about that because I hated the colour. So the lack of colour gives it points for me. But other than that, it's fairly simple, C+. So now we've got Bristol City's away kit. And I just want to start off by saying I love the purple. I like the green. Together is a big no. Throw a collar in there is a massive no. Throw a Manchester Bet logo in there, it's an even bigger no. I like, I sort of do like the pattern on it. And I like the purple. It's very vibrant. It's a very vibrant kit. It's the contrast between those two colours. Yes, maybe it can work, but with the style, it just does. It just seems like it's been thrown together. You know when you're playing The Sims and you hit randomise? They did that with this kit. Throw a colour on there. Green, black and white trim. Oh, no. It's a big no from me. But I'm going to give it a D+. Plus. The reasons are the colour... This weird trim around the collar, the, the mix of colours, it's not doing it for me. That is the least enthusiastic smile I've ever seen. He's disgusted to be wearing this shirt. <laughs> Okay, next up we've got Cardiff. This is a really weird one. It's like not got a collar, but it looks like it's got a collar. The colour is like it's been accidentally thrown in the wash. Like it's a white shirt that's got thrown in the wash with a green one. And it's got that sort of weird stain. Or it's just really old and sort of dirty. From God knows what substance. I don't like it. I don't like the colour. I think it's gross. I'm not a fan of this. I'm giving it an E because I don't. I just, there's no part of it that I like. It's just. I mean, even this part of the the sleeve is just too much. What's going on there? No, no, thank you. Next, next up, Coventry City's away kit. We didn't look at their home kit because it wasn't out in time uh, by the time I did the last video. Their home kit's quite nice. However, away. I think the colours are okay. I just think this whole I don't know what's going on. What's going on here? You've got you've got, you've got these on the on the on the shoulders. It looks fairly tidy. Colour I'm happy with, but it's this whole weird pattern. It's a, it's a half and half down the middle, but then they've cut it off at the shoulders. And I think it might have even looked better as just a full half and half. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what you think. Maybe I'm maybe I'm in the wrong here. But I'm not a fan at all. Not a fan. I'm going to give this a, a D minus. Next up, we've got Derby's Away kit. I don't like it. I think the colours are okay. I think it would have looked better as almost like a solid, like this colour, whatever it is, some sort of navy, throughout, uh, without this on the shoulders. Um, I like this. I do like this little tint here of a, a sort of turquoisey green. But 
overall it just doesn't look great. It's not it's not exciting me at all. It's not exciting me. It's not tickling my funny bone. Is that a thing? I don't think it's a thing. But I'm gonna give this a C minus. I, I've got nothing more to say about that. I don't think it's very nice. Huddersfield Towns away kit. Now, this isn't the best photo. I don't know why they always pick an XXL and put it on a hanger to make it look good. It just doesn't look good like that. It looks like a curtain. It looks like a curtain at my nan's house that needs dusting. Like, it's not the one. Like, if we look at this, it's it's very silky. I do like the silky effect. I think the colour, uh, the way that it is, just looks very strange. It's like they couldn't decide whether to do a V-neck or not. And they almost went too far with the V-neck and had to just throw this in to stop it being almost full nudity. Um, so I, I'm not a fan. I don't I don't like it. Is it me or does the badge look about six foot tall on this? Is that meant to be that big? However, I've got to say, it's it's not... I think the colour is beautiful. I don't know if it's like a, a football shirt or whether I should be wearing it to bed at night before a passionate night of Call of Duty or something. I don't know. But I'm going to give it a... a, a, a a C minus, and I feel like I'm being generous with that. <laughs> Alright, this is a throwback to a 90s kit, apparently. Um, it looks smart enough, right, before you before you get down here. You know, so far, so good. Let's go down. Oh my, what is this? I feel, is it part to do with the sponsor, this pattern on the front of the kit? I don't know why, but it looks like one of them slightly dated arcade machines. Like it would be painted like that, or like a really old-fashioned go-kart. But as a football shirt, I don't think it's the one. It's... It's like, it's a throwback. Sometimes throwbacks work. Um, maybe it'll look better on the players, but I don't like it. I'm going to give this a, a D. I've got to be honest. I've got to go with my heart here. I know a lot of you will disagree with me, and that's why the comment section is there. If I'm wrong, I'll hold my hands up and I'll say I'm wrong. Okay, but give me an argument down in the comments below. Like, tell me. What, what, why am I wrong? I had a lot to say about Middlesbrough's home kit. A lot to say. And apparently, the Borough fans couldn't hear me because of my accent. Which I think is very rich. From them. That's all I'm going to say. But if you ignore the massive sponsor that is rubbish, no good, not really a good design on it, the stripe pattern and the colour scheme and the way it looks and the fit is beautiful. Colour, you know, could, could be a little bit better. I'm not a fan of the colour. It just looks a bit flappy to me, if you know what I mean. However, I, I think this is a fairly nice kit. I think the badge looks pretty nice with the, you know, the black effect on there. I think that's going to look really good on. You know, I'm giving it a B. If it had a better sponsor and it didn't wasn't so obvious, I'd give it a B plus. But I'm going to give it a B, and I think that's fair from myself. Now, next up, um, the Norwich kit should be announced by now because this video will be coming out on the Friday. So if it has been announced, don't shoot me, please. Uh, but I, I just thought I'd include this because they've leaked this thing that says for the heroes And I think it's a really good thing for them to do, you know, they're, they're, they're thanking the NHS for everything They should be thanked all the time and so for them to do a kit on it I, re I really think it's sick now. This is a concept kit made by NCFC edits probably not at all what the kits gonna look like But I think there will be some sort of rainbow pattern uh, Inspired from it. It's hard man. It's hard. It's like it's a kit that would never happen like, I don't think this fade across would ever happen. I think it will be more of just this all over. Like, without this, it'll be this colour all over and, like, a little trim of rainbow. So I'm not going to grade this because it's not actually been released yet, but let's see. And when it is out, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. So next, we've got this blue and yellow design from Forest. It's about the River Trent, basically. Um, so th these lines are meant to flow like the river. And I don't know what to think of it. I think... It, I actually don't think it looks too bad. I sort of like it. I sort of like it. I don't know. It's really hard for me to judge, but I think it's different, and I don't think it's too bad at all. And it's got some sort of meaning by it, like the river. Yeah, I get it. They like the river Trent. Great. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, but um, no, I think uh, judging off the the way it looks, I think I'm going to give it a C. Maybe a C plus because they've tried a little bit with it. They've tried to be a bit inventive with it, and I appreciate that. I'm going to give it a C plus. Preston North End's away kit. All I've got to say is thank God Blues didn't do this because it's it's rubbish. Like the, They've got the same kit as their home kit, just with different colours changed. If, if Blues had done that just as lazily, just changed the colours, same kit, same colour, same everything, I'd have been fuming. The shorts don't even match. Like It's like he's borrowed someone's shorts from, the, from Lost Property. If it is just me, let me know. I've just realised that I'm half invisible here. That's not good. Okay, my, my green skin's massively played up, but it is what it is. We move. Next up, we've got QPR's away kit. Um, I don't think there's anything massively wrong with it. It's not It's not something that I'd particularly want, but I don't think it's terrible. Um, it's very simple, and for that reason, I'm just giving it a C. I think it's 
fairly plain, fairly straightforward. There's not a lot you can go wrong with it. Nothing too adventurous about it. Next up, we've got Redding's Away Kit. As you can see here, it's got some, you know, weird pattern on the bottom. It looks fairly smart. Uh, nothing, again, it's very similar to QPR's. Like, it's there's not a lot going on here. You know, it's got the, the, the trim of their home colours, which is pretty cool. Of, you know, the colour's smart. It looks smart enough. I'm giving it a C. I don't think it's that bad, to be fair. Now, we've got Rotherham. Um, again, looks very simple, very plain. I don't mind it. It's got this pinstripe effect. Uh, there's not, again, it's very, very simple. But I do think it looks fairly smart. What does it look like on? It looks smart, you know. I'm going to give that a C+. Plus. Maybe even a B mod. No, I'm going to give it a C+. Plus. I'm, 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 I'm sticking with it. Stoke next and this zigzaggy kind of thing. I like the colours. I like the colour scheme here, right? Oh, God. There's, like a, there's a lot of optical illusion kits, aren't there? A lot of optical illusion kits. But I do sort of like this. It's a bit different. You know what? I'm going to give this a B- as well. I think mainly because of the colour scheme. I don't think the colour's the best thing in the world. There's no sponsor on it yet, so that could completely ruin it. But for now, I'm giving it a B-. Swansea's away kit. Right, this is ridiculous. Look at it. This is ridiculous. But I sort of like it. I do sort of like it. Again, the... the the sponsor's very weird. It's huge. It's like a huge badge on the front of the shirt, which is strange. But you know what? This is bold. And in terms of the colour scheme, I think it's good. I think this is a very weird pattern. They're definitely trying to confuse the opposition with these kits. But uh, I sort of, I feel like this is very Marmite. You either love it or hate it. And I'm leaning towards liking it. So I'm going to give this a B-, minus, purely because it's extreme. And I think, you know what? I'd rather someone try and be extreme than go same old boring rubbish every single year. So fair play, Swansea. Now we've got Wickham, and this is very, it looks boring. Wickham's kit looks extremely boring. One colour, some sort of pattern there. I mean, it's better than their home kit, but they, neither of them look very good. It's got some, it looks like it's been photoshopped. Very poorly, I can't lie. I don't like the outer glow on these. <laughs> the design team ain't the best. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. It's probably an apprentice, you know. I, I feel I feel really bad. I feel really bad for saying that. I don't think I could do a better job. Let me just say that first and foremost. But uh, I don't like the kit. D. It's getting a D from me. I think the colour's alright. It's got some sort of pattern, but it just looks cheap. Um, but it is Wickham. So finally, we've got Sheffield Wednesday with this sort of grey camo elevate kit. I've liked... I, I, I've said before I like the Elevate kits. Yeah, this reminds me of that Manchester United kit where they had to stop using it because none of them could see each other. But uh, it does look pretty cool. I'm going to give this one a B+. Plus. Again, no sponsor. Maybe that could ruin it. But um, for now, I think it's fairly smart, fairly tidy. And that's it from me. So did you agree? Let me know. Also, I want to hear what you think the best kit was from this bunch and the worst. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll pin the best one. Remember to subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell and download the OneFootball app. Link down in the description. But until next time, I'll see you later.